Hey guys, we're here at the Bruce Fenton uh, gathering here at his uh, historical home. And uh, we'll meet Bruce in a little bit. And this is what he stands for. Uh, Bruce Fenton uh, for a uh, better New Hampshire and hopefully a better country for my, my daughter, my other son, and my fiance. I'm Alu Axelman. I support Bruce Fenton for U.S. Senate. He's the pro liberty, ultimate outsider, ultimate pro liberty, anti BC politician, sound money, and the wars, and the Fed, and taxation, economic freedom, free speech. And he's a good guy, sincere guy. And if anyone can go to DC and remain sincere in principle, the pro liberty, then it just might be someone like Bruce Fenton. So check him out. I think it's BruceFenton.com. I support Bruce Fenton. Um, I think Bitcoin is the future of money. It's going to help us all save our, keep our savings, keep our earnings, even if the government wants to take it away. It's, it's our only chance, really. They'll take it away via taxation or inflation or however they can do it. And so we have to, we have to, we, have, we need more decentralization in society. Because the people who run things, they're just totally, they're corrupt and they're just out for themselves. You know, you have to look at the incentive structure. So. Thank you. This is awesome, look at this. This is definitely probably the largest gathering of any candidates that are, that's going on today. So thank you so much. We're in the home stretch now. The primary is just a week from Tuesday. So I really appreciate, you guys are the core of, of our support, so we really appreciate, we're winning the sign game, we're winning the game of getting the word out, so I really appreciate you all being here. Uh, you know, please take a sign or take 10 of them and uh, tell your friends, get the people out to vote. You know, not a lot of people vote in these primaries, so every vote counts. If you get your friends, you know, get 10 people to vote, that, that's a very meaningful impact and there's a lot of ways to do that. Uh, the best way is just sharing my content, you know, I'm not for everybody. But there's a lot of people that do agree with these ideas. And I, everybody here knows I'm not shy about what my opinions are. They, they're going to know right away whether I'm for them or not. Um, it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, Maggie Hassan actually, when I first joined the race, she said, he's going to run negative attack ads against me. I said, I don't need to. We have a very different view of the world. You either like her vision or you don't like her vision. And there's a lot of people who appreciate a vision of freedom and human rights and our core values that we hold true as Americans. And it's more important than it's ever been. You know, I talk a lot about a fourth turning. I talk a lot about how our world is changing. These are not normal times right now. We are in epic times of change and you're going to be glad someday. I believe you're gonna be glad that you were here. It's like that old speech in Band of Brothers, you know, who was there who fought. Right now they're taking our freedoms more than they've ever done in any of our lifetimes. We're going through more of an epic time of change than anybody alive has seen. These are the times when history books are written. And the chapter of the 2020s is not gonna be remembered by a couple weird years. We are in a weird decade where nth order effects and chaos begets chaos and change begets change. And we have to be ahead of that curve and ahead of that change because it's either going to go down the path of tyranny and centralized control and Fauci and communist China and ESG and woke agenda controlling the lives and wallets of people, or it's gonna go down the path of human rights, human freedom, our constitution, and those values that we hold dear. I'm fighting for that, and I know all of you are too, so that's what we're fighting for. Let's bring back our country, let's go back to our core values of human rights and human freedom. It's the only way forward. We're completely divided right now. Every single post I make, we have people complaining about the former president or complaining about the current president. We need to come together. And the only way to do that, we're not going to agree. We're not going to agree. Let's face that, OK? There's people that we're just not going to see eye to eye. The only way we're going to come together as a country is the same way our founding fathers recognized, that we leave each other alone. And if you like Fauci and you want to wear a mask as a political signal and you want to join the Church of Woke, I'm going to defend that right. And if you want to have guns and you want to do your own thing, I defend that right. And if you want to put ivermectin in your body or you don't want to put something in your body, I defend that right. 
It's the only way forward. We got to let everybody do their own crazy thing and be themselves. And that's the New Hampshire way. And that's the American way. And that's what's going to bring this country together. And that's what's going to save us. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate everybody. I appreciate every one of you. Spread the word. Be sure you grab a sign. Let's hear it for Billy, the campaign manager, by the way. I've never even run for dog catcher before. Billy's never run a campaign before. We're breaking. I said, Billy, I said, I want you to go down to Washington. I want you to get a list of all the best experts and all the best consultants. I want to listen to every single thing they say and then break every single one of those rules because the system's broken and we're breaking it and we're unconventional in every single thing we do. And I appreciate my wife, Carol Ann, unsung hero of all of this and my four beautiful children and uh, Michelle and her family. So many great people. I can't thank you all, but I really appreciate everybody and thanks so much. And, and I hope you enjoyed this, this place. For those who don't know, um, 1694, July 18th, 1694, right down there, Captain Thomas Bickford defended his farm against uh, at least 80 attackers. And now we have the same kind of attacks in, in, our, in our country, more of an economic attack and attacks on our free speech. But that American spirit existed even before America and it, and it will exist long after America. The, the, the desire of people to be left alone and do their own thing. It's, our, it's, it's what makes us human beings and uh, it's something worth fighting for. So thank you very much again. Thank you.